got out there to shoot uh, with our video and it, man, it's going to be great this weekend too. It looks fantastic for the pilots, for the viewers, but we'll get to that in just a second. Something a little bit different here, courtesy of Livecopter 3. We got some goats. Yeah, they're doing some fuel management there in uh, West Sacramento, right along the river. A lot of goats out there, uh, a lot of grass for them too. So uh, yeah, nice afternoon for them to be outside as well. All right, for anybody that's headed to Mather tomorrow, gates open at nine for you to walk around the concourse. Temperatures will be on the cooler side in the lower 60s. Flights start at noon. Temperatures then will be in the mid 70s. We'll have a light breeze through the evening. Clear sky, nice and calm. Temperatures close to 80 degrees when things end for the day tomorrow at five o'clock. Area of low pressure that was setting off some showers in the Sierra yesterday. That's moved well away. So higher elevations today have enjoyed a nice dry day. Some sunshine temperatures responded nicely, actually made it into the 60s and lake level today after being stuck in the 50s yesterday. There's a little bit of an onshore breeze building. It's not going to be too strong this evening, but once the sun sets between that and that westerly breeze, the temperatures will drop off fairly quickly, something we're kind of getting used to this week and then we're going to have to stay used to as we go through the fall weeks today. Fall begins uh, just before midnight tonight. So tomorrow the first official full day of fall and it's going to start off seasonably cool. We'll be in the mid 50s first thing tomorrow morning in most spots in the valley. A little bit of an onshore breeze will continue through the morning, which will then pick up again tomorrow afternoon. So it'll be slightly cooler. Today's forecast high was 84. We're going for 82 tomorrow in Sacramento. Roseville Woodland should be in the lower 80s tomorrow as well. Elk Grove topping out at 81 degrees into the San Joaquin Valley. A nice calm morning with again a little bit of that delta breeze feeling in the afternoon. Highs will be in the low to mid 80s here. Full sunshine, morning temperatures nice and cool in the mid 50s. You'll certainly need the layers at the coast. Look at San Jose and San Francisco tomorrow starting in the 50s, climbing into the upper 60s and mid 70s. And yeah, the clouds from the marine layer will be hanging around as well. Afternoon winds through the delta 10 to 15 miles per hour, so not too strong, just on the steadier side. Into the foothills, mid 50s in the morning, mid to upper 70s in the afternoon. If you're headed to Apple Hill, take the jackets. But go ahead and enjoy the sunshine. It'll feel nice and warm out there. Truckee tomorrow, upper 60s, mid 60s in Lake Tahoe, but we'll be starting in the 30s at lake level. Tis the season there. The average low for South Lake Tahoe is pretty close to the freezing mark at this time of the year, so keep that in mind for your future weekend plans. We have some changes as we go into early next week. The clouds increase Monday into Tuesday. It'll get a little bit breezy, too. There's the potential that we get some showers into parts of the foothills mm. on Tuesday. Talk a little bit more about what's going on with that in about 20 minutes. All right, Heather, we'll check back in with you then. Thank